talk about API and how we can make this little baby framework a little more complex, complicated, or I should have said a little more organized. So it would be easier to use in the future. All right, let make, let's make that guy small, but this API big. So uh, as you have seen on a previous video that I'm gonna post a link above, uh, this framework was already created. And then now we're just going to add another folder. Let's call it API. So the API folder will contain uh, helper files. For example, if we wanna send this joke random, you know, many times, if we're gonna add uh, one, I don't know, two, three tests, it doesn't make sense to copy, you know, to duplicate the code. So we can, on the other hand, just to create a helper. So let's do that inside of API. Uh, let's call it random dash API. Uh, all right, and let's uh, let's create something like um, just copy paste the class. I'm not a fan of writing things from scratch, so I'm just gonna copy paste this, update it, and then you guys uh, should do the same. Or if you want to spend your entire life writing shitty code, please do that. All right. Uh, helper method, blah, blah, blah. We're going to delete that crap. Call it random here, random there. All right, it's not a username. So we're going to create async helper and get random joke. That is going to be a name. And this helper will send a request. So we're going to have to include our uh, base URL in the helper method. And in the future, we're gonna just move it somewhere else and centralize it, but not at the moment. So then we're gonna copy this guy. Uh, let's see, uh, let's call it a response. So uh, const response equals to a way to sing get uh, random joke that is correct and then a uh, return response so now we have this helper method that we can simply utilize in our uh, in our code right here so we're going to get rid of this guy and now we're going to get rid of, actually let's import it first let's say const random um, const random API. I guess it should be API random equals to require. And then we're gonna get to, uh, okay, dot, dot slash to move one level back up. And then we're gonna get inside of the API and we're gonna get this guy. So instead of saying all of that, we're going to say, Um, API dot uh, API random uh, dot uh, what's the name of the helper? Uh, get random joke. Well, I guess API random is not a good name. Uh, let's call it let's call it jokes API. Yeah, that sounds more legit. Jokes API dot get random joke. Uh, that's it. And then now we're simply going to copy this code, paste it all over the places with the help of command D since we're using awesome Visual Studio code. Thanks to whoever created it. Uh, uh, oh, shoot, it was Microsoft. I shouldn't say, should have not said that. Anyways, uh, we're going to run our code again. Make sure it works. NPM test. Uh oh, it does not work. Let's figure out why. Uh, assertion expected 200, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. get, oh, I know why. So all of these are async helpers. So we have to wait for them. As soon as we do that, we're gonna be waiting for each of them. Uh oh, not this time, boy. All right, access is not defined. That definitely makes sense because we did not define it on the helper page but we did divide it instead on a spec where we do not use it. And three, two, one, talk to me, friends. We're getting green light from all of them. So that's how you uh, create 
helper methods or helper folder, how you kind of structure it. You know, you can play with it different ways, but that's how I would proceed with it. And for now, we have only one file. And if you ever need to create a second file, you simply do it in the same way. Call it, I don't know, uh, search-api.js. And then you create the same class, et cetera, and you use it uh, whichever spec you need in case you, you uh, come up with a few more specs. But yep, simple, but very useful and organized code. Alrighty, you guys have fun and enjoy your wonderful day.